picking up a new car at Pan Auto. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. See ya. So if you guys need any parts for your car and you guys are located in San Diego, check out Pan Auto. Tell them I sent you. Hook you up. Brought Shadow out today. Some more carbon fiber parts. This one's super nice. Show you guys when we get home. If you guys need any parts for your car, hit up Pan Auto. Um, I know they used to be a big company back in the day. I was still a little kid, so I wasn't driving back in those days, but um, they surprised me with my Voltec side skirts for the Evo. I think it was like maybe two months and then they were in. And then also with this side one part, they got it in a week. So super stoked about that. Thanks to Pan Auto once again. Now let's head on home. So we'll get it installed, our new part. carbon fiber check that out this piece pretty much goes right here if you guys didn't know <laughs> it goes something like that wow big difference I think I like this a lot better rather than just seeing all this crusty stuff right here it shouldn't be that difficult to install just a few bolts I think these have to come out and then I'm gonna have to pop off this little rubber piece to slide it in there. That's pretty much it.
It doesn't sit all the way down though. I'm having a little bit of issue right here. See how lifted that is? Um, unless I put a bolt down, but I don't want to crack the carbon. So I'm gonna have to trim a little bit of this piece right here. I already trimmed this piece right here because the latch uh, was hitting as I was trying to fit it on. What happens when you buy carbon fiber parts? So for this part right here, uh, I'm gonna buy one of those plastic um, those plastic clips that always break when we take them off. Um, I don't have any self tappers. I think that's what they're called. These I was slowly tightening them down because this one I could barely get the nut on there, and then this one I had to like really push on the panel down and then try to like bolt it on there. Um, and then right here, I'm getting those plastic clips just to hold this down like that I'm hoping that with the heat I'm able to get this panel fitting a little better but yeah there it is it wasn't too difficult but it was kind of tricky to get it on there it does clear everything I also shaved this part right here and up here the only places where it was hitting uh, other than that not too bad Making a quick stop at 7-Eleven. I'm gonna go pick up some pizza in a little bit. Some killer pizza from Mars. I'm so glad I was able to get that cooling plate on there. I was already getting worried that I wasn't gonna be able to put it on. I even called Tom back at Pan Auto telling him that it wasn't fitting. But that was like before I even like try to force that thing on there. I'm lucky it didn't break. But what do you guys think about that cooling plate? I honestly like it a lot because now like whenever I open the hood I'll be able to see that carbon fiber piece and not like all that ugly stuff and the horns I think it has two horns that look like freaking snails <laughs> but yeah just a little bit of shaving that had to be done for it to fit um, and I do have to like force the hood to close now before it would just easily close and now I gotta like freaking push on it and Hope I don't dent it one day <laughs> or else it'd be time for a carbon fiber one. Best pizza ever. I always come here on my nights off. It's kind of to treat me and my girl and the baby pretty soon. Can't eat this stuff yet, but oh. so far, best pizza ever. All right, so really quick. I know I couldn't film it to 
today because I ran out of daytime, but I wanted to show you guys how the cooling plate looks. It looks freaking good. I love it. Check it out. I managed to put a bolt right there. Keep that down. 